How are you, Nick? Good, doing good. Good to see you again. Yeah. Kind of different than the last time I saw you. We were in Austin, and even though it was cold, nothing like this. We went far south, now we're far north. <laughs> exactly. Even further north, right. So what do you have for us today? Well, it's since really... this is the land of white stuff, uh, I figured it would be good for us to have a 2500 with a plow kit on it. So this is a 2015 Ram 2500 Crew Cab 4x4 okay. with a fixed with a Boss plow. Wow. So what we're going to do is just do basic plow 101 with you. Have really? you ever plowed snow before? I, I can sleep my house, but no more than that. Well, the goal of the plow truck is to move material and do it by job because yeah. you, you want to move as much as possible during time. So heavy duty trucks are great for that. They got lots of cooling capacity. They weigh a lot. We have about a 700 to 1,000 pound plow hanging out the front. We've got about 500 pounds in the bed to offset it. And uh, that moves a lot of material, especially since you got a V8, a 6.4 liter V8 with 410 horsepower and 429 okay. pounds. And torque. obviously all wheel drive. You got it. It's, <laughs> it's a 4x4 four four true. That's what, so there's no differentiation. This is the thing that you operate the plow with, right? Right. So right now you want to put three fingers. I, I do my own way as three fingers in there. That way you have, um, you can reach a little further. I, I don't have real long okay. thumbs. And also now you can grab this wind shift. You always want to keep your left hand on the steering wheel while okay. you're plowing so you can keep so let, control. Let me talk about this. I mean, okay. how do you operate? There's like I see three controls here. So you is it on or right four? Is the plow uh, one? I know. Flip the switch. There you go. There you go. So now, now play starts. with it a little bit. So show me what you do if you wanted to throw the snow to the right. Okay. So to the right. There you go. And show me the left. Now I want you to bring the wow, plow. That thing is heavy. It moves yeah. <laughs> It wow. is. It's heavy. And it's also hanging off the front, so it's, a, it's an exponential leverage, right? Yeah. So now you're all the way up. Now I want to show you how to put it into float mode. You're going to double tap down, and you're going to see that little green light's going to turn red. Okay. So now the uh, weight of the blade is holding it to the ground, and the blade can move independently of the truck. So if you're going over uneven surfaces, you still have the weight of the plow to cut, to make the cut. And the blade, uh, like, moves according to the to the ground I mean, it, it actually uses the weight of the plow itself to hold it to the ground so you don't have oh, okay. anything forcing it there this is the this is the way you're usually gonna plow unless you have to take multiple paths well, over I, I never surface. thought about this this like takes some skill yeah so <laughs> right now you're doing a straight front plow and you're okay. just you're just mushing the snow in front of you so so you that little push bit. it to the side there you go go ahead and angle it left and shoot it to the left a little bit more there you go so you're passing through if different areas anywhere from uh, 6 to 12 inches of snow. And this is heavy snow because we're up north so it gets really compact. It's more like yeah. moving dirt than it is fluffy okay. white stuff that we would snowboard or ski on. And go ahead and pick up the blade as you come to the end of your run here. Good. And then do a spin around a circle here. And then, they, oh, so you have to operate the thing the whole time. You got it. Much. And that's why you have your, left, your right hand somewhat free. Oh my god. So bring the blade up. Up. There you go. And let's line up for another pass. Okay, so what well, you can still do it in circles here, right? If you wanted to. Oh, you could if you wanted. We'll go back and do a crescent shape if okay. you want to. So go ahead and uh, straighten yourself out towards this line. Back up go. so you can get a, a running at it. Oh, that's now, you, you can see this area is a little deeper. Yeah. So what you're probably going to do here is get a little momentum, then drop the blade into plow I can mode. See up there, I did a pretty good job. You did. That's a straight <laughs> shot. You did a really good clean cut there. So now it's straight. Is it, is it like a way to put it like straight in one shot, or you have to? No, like you to just have to take a look at it and figure okay. it. You know, the horizon of the of the hood of the truck. So double tap again to drop and then, it. Well, cock it left first, right? Bring oh. it back. Bring it back up. Okay, that works too. You're, you're sitting on pucks on the on the blades. So actually, it'll save itself. Okay. So you're gonna want to back. Are you backed up as far as you? That's good. So what you want to do is roll, start rolling forward, and because you're gonna take a heavy bite out of this big chunk, as you can see, there's a pretty decent size load in front of you. Drop the plow while you're rolling. But it looks like you're already. Are you in oh, already yeah. mode? I'm in drive, and I'm in four, uh, four and wheel drive lock. So go ahead. Are you, are you in float mode or are you in a uh, hold mode on your on your remote? Are you green or are you red? I'm uh, green. So you want it red. Oh, it? there you go. Okay, now you're in plow. Oh, plow that, mode. that way it doesn't move. Well, That's right. Oh, I see. And just stay in it. Now, it's going to fight you. It's going to fight you left and right because you're moving a lot of material right wow. now. But stay in it and the throttle and keep moving and try to keep it as straight as you can. Oh, yeah, you must push you feel it the other you? way. Yeah. yeah. And then as you come to the end of your run, you pick up the blade. This is fun. Okay, I mean, let's do it. Very let's pretty do a, serious job, but. Yeah, uh, so line up. Line up the truck at the end of this area over here because we're going to make a little faster pass this next time. So go ahead and spin around. And line straight up at it and then hold still for a sec. So we're going to go in okay. the middle? Or you see, gonna... you see that clean cut you did on the left, uh, left hand side there? Yeah. I want you to cut in about a foot and a half. I want you to shoot the snow that way. So on the, on the 
on that side? On, on, I see it straight in front of oh, you. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I want you to cut the left side of that run. Oh, the, the left side. And I want you to cut that left side and shoot it that way. So it will be that I There got, you go. Uh-huh. But really, I Let's, drop it then. And then cut the, I'm sorry, cut the right side of that line. So you're going to take about a foot oh, of that chunk. Oh, this one. Yeah. These, oh, the other. The other left. Yeah, you can go that way or you can, I'd rather you shoot the snow to the left. There you go. Shoot the snow to the left and cut into the right side about a foot and a half. Oh, I see. I see. Now get some momentum, drop the blade and go. Oh. Drop it like twice? Just go, yeah, right now and hammer. Hit the throttle, go. Wow. Now a little bit less, take a little bit less bite. There you go. Throttle, more throttle. Nail it. And we're not damaging there the blade? There you go. No, heck no, it's built for this. Now pick up the blade. Oh my God. Pick up the blade. Good job. Now let's go see what you did. We'll see, we'll turn around and... You need your windshield wipers too. <laughs> It really takes some skill, man. Oh, it's like playing a video game. <laughs> but but this you is got like, it. You're doing the one-handed thing, right? You yeah, got but it. this is serious work. Because it I mean, is. Like the people who work on these, are like in these conditions everywhere on the... And they're paid by the know, job, too. Yeah. We did pretty good, I think. Yeah, you can go ahead and drop the blade again and, and make another pass here. You're going to shoot the snow to the right. Put it to the right. Drop it. It's locked, so we go. Go ahead and take it all the way through. And push it all the way out there. And then pick up the blade here and we're gonna do some pushing now. Okay. Spin the truck around. Yeah. So see how you made kind of a pile right here? Uh yeah. I want you to uh in the middle, right? Yeah, I want you to push part of that pile up on that corner there. So you're gonna drop the blade straight on it. As you're approaching that hill. I want you to push the blade up so you're shoveling up high if you can. So we're gonna clean all this mess in the middle. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty big chunk. <laughs> why don't you um, why don't you angle the blade to the left? Well, why don't we make like a big pile in the middle and then we, we try to clean up that? Okay. Well, what I want you, you to I want you to make one pile and I want you to hit it hard. Is what I want you to do. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if you make a bigger one in the middle, then we can hit okay, it. Okay. So drop the blade here. Push it up. Oh, no, go ahead and push up. Push oh. forward. Keep going. Now we can turn it to the left a little bit, no? A little bit further. Okay, now stop. Now pick the blade up and back up. Let's take a look at our pile. Okay. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> now huh? go ahead. So back up further. Let's make a good run at it. Back up further. Oh, we can get further. this part of it. Okay. Now cock the blade. Now back up further. Still further. I want you to hit this thing good. Oh, really? Yeah. Now now cock the blade to you're shooting snow to the left side. And we're going to leave this. And, like then, and then back. I want you to back up a little more. I want you to get some speed at this thing. Because I want it to blow up when you hit it. Okay. Now go ahead and, and get Drop after it. it. Drop the blade. And get after that pile. And as you as you continue the run on, cut into that the rest of that row about a foot. Okay. So nail it. Wow. <laughs> this is why people use heavy duty trucks for plowing. Amazing. And you can pick up the blade at the end of the run. So let's do a push too. Um, go ahead and uh, here, let's do a crescent cut. Oh, like here? Yeah. So back her up a little bit. So I want you to make a nice, smooth circle crescent cut out of that and then push whatever remaining snow you have left on the blade at the very end there. So we're going to push to the right, right? That works. Um, you're probably going to want to blade it out because you get some distance out there. There you go. That works for you. Put down? Yep. Drop it. And clean your windshield off so you can see how much you're cutting. Have new respect both for the truck and for this job. To be honest with you, never, never knew that this. Now was go ahead good. and push straight up, and as you're approaching the pile, pick up the blade so you can get high a high pile. There you go, nice. But it was the way you clean. Okay. 
So look, if you're looking, think about an intersection, and when you're piling up snow, snow during the winter time is just like dirt. So yeah. if you pile an intersection wrong, then you create blind spots. So it's important also to know where you're gonna put it because it's gonna be there all winter long. Well, Nick, I learned something else, and maybe if I decide to move somewhere right. in the north, Someplace maybe I can so train a little bit more and I see how it goes. <laughs> you a flow operator too. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Nick. You're welcome. It was a good time.